There are some heavy hearts in Dodger Nation tonight as fans mourn the loss of longtime manager Tommy Lasorda. His colorful personality was as big a part of this organization as that deep, rich Dodger blue which adorns every jersey. And as we say goodbye, we not only remember his love for the game, but also his unrelenting passion for the Dodgers. He was brash and beloved, irreverent and amusing. During an historic journey that began in Brooklyn and took flight in Los Angeles, he became not only the face, but more importantly, the humanity of a proud franchise. And alongside good friend Vin Scully, was instrumental in transforming the organization into a Los Angeles institution. Tommy, as he preferred to be called, wasn't destined to be a great player. Drafted as a pitcher by the Phillies, the bow-legged lefty toiled for most of the 1950s in the minors, including several for the Dodgers. At one point, joking it took the emerging brilliance of Sandy Koufax to keep him off the pro roster. He did get one major league start, 1955 in Brooklyn. Lasorda was yanked after one inning when he tied a major league record with three wild pitches. He bowed to reality. In 1961, started scouting, which soon led to managing, making stops at every level before the Dodgers' legendary manager, Walter Alston, elevated him to his staff as third base coach in 1973. Three years later, Alston retired. Lasorda was named to replace him and inherited a team loaded with talent, many of whom he had managed to a AAA title in Albuquerque only four years earlier. But where Alston had been reserved and cerebral, Lasorda was boisterous and certainly not risk averse. And look who's coming up. And with two out, you talk about a roll of the dice. This is it. Over the next 20 years, the energetic Lasorda carved out his own blue first persona, one that included enthusiasm and a can do spirit that became infectious not only within the clubhouse, but for the rapidly growing fan base. He would also solidify his own managerial legacy with two world championships, four National League pennants, and eight division titles. Nobody thought we could win a division. Nobody thought we could beat the Mighty Mets. Nobody thought we could beat the team who won 104 games. No way! In 1996, a heart attack forced him to retire, a premature departing that wounded no one more than Lasorda himself. Though the team was in no way ready to let him walk, naming him vice president and special assistant to the owner. In 1997, he entered Cooperstown, but was never far from his roots. In 2001, he served as an honorary coach at the All-Star Game, where he took a now famous tumble avoiding the flying bat of Vladimir Guerrero. As always, he handled it with a healthy measure of Lasorda, a plump. Over the last few years, he might have slowed down somewhat, but continued to mesmerize anyone he met with his affection for baseball and, of course, his Dodgers. There was a unique and symbiotic partnership, one that will be missed, though not nearly as much as the man himself. Tommy Lasorda taught us it was okay to love the game as much as he did. One of the many gifts he left. We will have much more ahead on the Ford Sports Final at 1045. We'll hear from current and former Dodgers on Tommy. Also a live report from the Ravine. Let's go back to you. Darren, thank you. Tommy Lasorda made an impact on the lives of players, staff, and fans during his decades with the Dodgers and made it one of the most beloved franchises in MLB history. And tonight, the City of Angels is honoring the man whose love of the game touched so many lives. KTLA's Rick Chambers is live at Grand Park in downtown Los Angeles with more reaction. Rick? Yeah, sure. Just a beautiful sight in downtown LA tonight. Let me step out of the way so you can take in the whole picture here. You see the fountain in the foreground, City Hall back there, everything bathed in blue and gray tonight in honor of Tommy Lasorda. He was, after all, Mr. Dodger, and his fans are letting us know what he meant to them. 
outside the Lasorda home in Fullerton, a growing memorial to the man who often claimed he bled Dodger blue. He lived a full life. He got to see our Dodgers go one, uh, one more time all the way, and um, I'm just happy he got to see that. You know, now he can finally rest in peace. Just a cool dude. I mean, he didn't shy away from the public coming up and taking pictures, wanting to shake his hand. He's just a genuine person. Lasorda spent 71 years with the franchise. His number two is painted on the outfield grass at the ravine tonight, and flowers adorn his number outside the stadium. He said that uh, he's going to stick around uh, long enough for, to see us win a championship. And uh, so for him to make his way to Texas uh, to be with us and to see it in person uh, speaks to his determination, uh, his stubbornness a little bit, his compete, all of that. Social media is overflowing with tributes to the Hall of Famer. LA's mayor calling Lasorda the face of the franchise and the soul of the city. Kike Hernandez writing, Rest in peace, Tommy. We'll never forget all of the great conversations, the memories, the stories. And Walker Bueller said, Rest in peace, Tommy. One of the most passionate and entertaining people I've been around in my life. Tommy's up there now with the big Dodger in the sky. He was just, uh, he transcended his position as manager and player. He was part of LA. The LA Kings posted, Our hearts are broken, and we share in the grief with our friends and colleagues with the Dodgers over the loss of a legend. And Kenley Jansen may have said it best Tommy Lasorda, this wonderful man, Hall of Famer in baseball and in life, to win, to love this game, to live and play with joy. That was his message to us. Rest in peace in blue heaven, sir, and thank you. Tommy is survived by his wife, Joe, of 70 years, their daughter, Laura, and granddaughter, Emily. Tommy Lasorda was 93 years old. In downtown L.A., I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, I'll throw it back to you in the studio.